hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i am going to build a simple project with laravel users and inertia and also i am going to deploy this project in cpanel let's start this open cmd i took empty folder here Insert the folder. I'm going to create the project here. Use this command for creating this project. Laravel new. I'm going to name it simple name. Big dot here. I'm going to use the jet stream. Wait, wait. Uh, spelling mistake. Laravel new. U is going to be big dot here. I'm using Justin, you can use Breeze too. Select the inertia. Select the SSR. This will help you to deploy this project easily in Cpanel. I'm using paste here. Select now. Press enter. Now let the project create. Download the resources file here. Okay. I'm using Laravel version 10. Okay. Select the MySQL database. Your project created. Now open this project in VS Code. In here, first I'm going to create a model here. I'm going to name the model post and also minus m for the migrations. Now go to database migrations and go to post table here and I will add uh, a string here. Okay. 
images and again another string for name and string for position text for details you can also limit this limit characters here for the position 30 and 30 and for the details I don't need to use any limit here Now go to model post protected fillable images name position and details. Check the spellings position images name done now migrate hp artisan migrate if you don't have any database here i'm using zampier it will create the database automatically right here. yes This is my database. Here is my post and for the logins users. There is my MB. This is my database name. Okay. Now I'm going to install filament. I'm using version 3 here if it doesn't install on your computer you just need to go to zam controller apache config and php in it open this with text editor and search for initl search it this is the action extension sorry extension Uncommon this, delete the semicolon, and this will work. Now install this panel, name it admin, select no for the GitHub. Done. Now I'm, now I'm going to install the flow by two. and pm install flow byte in the tailwind config.js you will need to copy this text and paste it here in the plugins copy this from the contact content Copy this text from the content and paste it in the content. Done. Now in the resources folder, JS file and in pages, I'm going to create a new page called post page or posts view
now in here uh, I'm going to copy course from the blocks flow right here I'm going to take this here team section copy this code from here and paste it now run this project this part is going to serve npm run dev in the search bar here search for admin uh, not now not now sorry not now first you need to register here register register with your email and password that's the default dashboard here if you search for admin here this is the admin dashboard filament in filament right now there is no section here I'm going to create a section here so there's is there is an easy way go to filament and in the docs here go to third page one two you will find this command here copy this command and paste it change the customer to post which is this model <coughs> if you don't use generate this won't create the tables automatically if you use this this will create uh, the inputs from here select enter I mean. now go to filament here check the post resources here you can see inputs are automatically created you don't, don't need to write them in the dashboard reload this uh, run php artists on serve there is the post section click it there is my post section I'm going to change the form schemas go to new post here you can see images uh, I need to change this with an upload file there will upload file input section remove the max length from here and set a directory for this I'm going to name it post images for the name text field is ok for position text field is ok text area I'm going to take the markdown editor refresh
they're done they're working now create some post I took some images, collected some images. I'm going to use them. Browse. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Arthur. Name him Arthur, sorry. Position uh, CE boss. this filling here sorry <coughs> manager These are some of the post here. You can also change the icon here. Go to hero icon. Copy this text here and paste it after Odesh. These are some of my posts here. There is my icon here. Now I'm going to change the column here. In the column section for the images, I'm going to take image column. And for the name text column is okay. Create tag, this is okay. For the details here, I'm going to take another column. Tables, tables, columns. There will be a text column again. Details make it searchable. Uh, limit the view here. Let's say uh, 40. Refresh. If the image doesn't show here, copy this link from here.
copy this link from here and paste it in the app URL remove the dash here Re refresh their images are showing here now if you want to add more options for the edit section you can change it here action action group in the action group make I'm going to take third packet and tables actions view action here make comma tables action extraction make tables action mm, delete action here yeah. refresh here there is my options here you can view edit and delete also right now I'm not deleting here now I want to load the data in the home in the home page so what are we going to do here in the welcome page here I'm going to remove these sections here but keep the login uh, naps okay select the div from here delete them now they are uh, what do you need to do here import the post page import post from post from Sorry, I create the folder outside of the pages. Make sure the post page, the view files are inside the pages. Dot view. Now load the page here. Post. There is my post page now I'm going to load the data here but first because I'm loading the welcome page first and insert there my post will be show there so that's why you need to pass the data in the welcome page go to routes wave file PHP in here you're going to load the post here oh. Take the posts, import the post model, get all the models for now. Post, ports, and ports. You're passing the data to welcome page. Now, in here, you need. Uh, in the welcome page you don't need to do nothing here you go to post page here in the script here right setup and use const post and use page Page. from inertia from slash inertia let go there from this
and then take the props here props and use the post now take this that is here let me check that I, if it's working or not there is my post here there is my data three objects data successfully loaded now I'm going to look through all of them keep one card and delete the rest of them I'm going to look through from here right on the grid section uh, not the grid section sorry this deep before uh, use the post here right post delete this first brackets and take the force from down there now key will be post dot id there's my three data already working load the images remove those storage storage and a plus post images this should not work at the slash here this is working fine because the images are in the public directory storage folder here this is how you load the images take the storage here slash plus then the post here this post post and post here and images i'm going to uh, take this rescale the images 52 maybe this is looking fine For the names, post dot name. For the positions here, post dot position. And for the details, post details. They are working fine. There, my simple project is done. What I can do now, I'm going to deploy this in cPanel. For this, I'm going to clear and delete all the images. By the way, I change the link here dashboard link, go to welcome page here. In the dashboard here remove the route dashboard and slash admin remove the semicolon uh, remove the column from href click dashboard here this will lead to admin dashboard but it is uh, showing small screen for this you need to remove the link here just add a tag this will open with full white
Now we'll remove this post from here and we'll remove those. Also, I'm going to remove the post post images from here. Close them. PHP artists on migrate fresh because I need a fresh database. There, done. Now, npm run build for the SSR build. This will build the project in the public folder. It has manifest. There, are, there is my project files here, and all the CS and JavaScript files. Now export the fresh database from here. The pure database. I'm going to export that. Export. That is this is my uh, SQL file here. Now I'm going to deploy this project into cpanel so here's my cpanel here but before that i'm adding meta robot to robot text here robots no to no index content uh, this one index in the google search engine index file index con search console sorry index search console but before before that you know to build the project npm run build this project will build with the ssr bit ssr done in the input section you need to change the database name username and the password here and also the link here go to management database here in the cpanel, I'm going to create a new database called viewcard here. And add username and password. I'm adding this user and the database is this one. Add click all the privileges done go back here in here I forget the password so I'm going to generate another password this is my password using this password double check Copy this password here and the username. And copy the database name. Here in the domain section, you can see this is my main domain and that is my subdomain here. I'm going to uh, deploy this project in this link so copy this link here also paste here in the app url no no you need to click this https then the link here remove the dash from the end section end site sorry now i'm going to deploy this in save panel in the file manager this is my HTML a public HTML folder and this is my domain folder okay subdomain folder in here in the STS access 
uh, I'm using this code for the Laravel website I'll provide this code in the description below you can just copy and paste there now here I'm going to upload the project to do this and to zip all of them all the files here zip and upload here delete the zip file you don't need it here now check if it's working or not domains and this is my link here here you can see unit tables for the database now go to php my admin here php my admin This is my database you got in here I'm going to import the M uh, not empty actually this SQL file for the tables import them this is working perfectly now you can register here admin email Use your own password. Register. This is working perfectly. This is my admin dashboard here. In post here, I can post new posts. go to home you can see images are not working that is because uh, in the public folder you need to create a link here uh, wait where is the files here there are my files go to public delete the storage from here Now we need to link the storage file here in the NB, not the NB, sorry. Uh, go to routes here, open the web PHP, edit that, and copy this route. Route get link dash function artisan call the storage link here now if you go to dash link here 
in the search bar. So there, images are loaded. That is because in the pub public folder here, there is a new storage file here. This is linked up to this website. And there is my images. That's how you can deploy and also use the filament admin panel for posting images, products, whatever data you want to post here. This is not a filament video. There are many beautiful filament tutorials out there. You just need to search in the YouTube channel. That's it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe for this channel.